see how this Mark 14 goes. The cockpit's pretty obviously the same. I gotta set all this stuff up. Okay, so it's got like 2,000 horsepower at 2,000 meters max boost. Unlimited at seven, one hour at nine. Okay. And that's at almost 4 p.m. So is that a more powerful engine just because of extra boost being available? No, it's a totally different engine. Cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's, it's uh, I can get it with a double confident rotating props. Yeah. I, this one only has one uh, propeller, I think. It's the later Griffins, uh, like the 47, that have the counter rotating props, I think. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this thing's hitting 400 in a slight dive. Full RPM, 76% throttle, maybe. I don't know how long this engine is going to last because it's between an hour or five minutes. So if I go halfway in between, you should expect to be able to do less wear because like of less 30 boost. minutes, right? Yeah, well, the boost is uh, you, you get more detonation, you're frying your pistons, right? Yeah. And, and then a lot harder on the bottom and a lot more pounding. Okay, so I just went 440 and I could handle that. Let's see how good it is in a climb here. Action's probably the right as the first thing I want. It still turns pretty good. I'll have to try it with the clipped wow. wings next. Does it have a heavier feel or basically the same? It, it feels a little heavier, yeah. A little bit more nose heavy, but basically the same. Oh yeah, you can turn on a dime in this thing still. Like, you're, you'll black out first. Well, it's almost double the horsepower of the mine. Is it? Because what went from 14 to 2,000 or something like that? Uh, I think I think 2,000, yeah. So just like any Spitfire, it's pretty unstable uh, at low speeds. So, but I mean, you can turn really good with it, and it's just so fast. It can gain its airspeed back in no time. You got all that horsepower and leg weight. Yep. Is that your fly? Are you flying the Mark 14? Yeah, yeah. I just bought it. Got a nasty torque on it, hasn't it? Eh, I have not noticed the torque actually. It doesn't handle it. It doesn't handle as nicely as the uh, night. But it's obviously much more powerful. Yeah. I mean, out, out and out slow speed dog fire, but the night is much better. That's the trade off, wanna, right? Yeah, exactly. Big, big, bunny, big, uh, big Griffin engine in it. Oh yeah, it's like got ten more liters of displacement than the yeah, Merlin. It's huge, it's huge, yeah. Wow, opening up the taps on this thing, and I'm going, you know, 380 miles an hour in a straight goddamn line. A lot of torque, though, that's for sure. Hello, guys. So I would like to give some tips on how to maximize the Spitfire Mark 14's performance and I will have some footage recorded on Combat Box in the background. From my experience so far, you'll want to have your RPM set to 2600 RPM or 25% pitch and 9 pounds of boost, which is 75% uh, throttle, 
for all non-combat um, conditions. That gives you an hour of flight time, but also allows you to climb back to altitude when necessary. Once combat is close, increase your pitch to 100%, which is 2700 RPM, and increase your throttle to 12 pounds of boost, which should be 85% throttle. This will give your engine a longer lifespan. Uh, however, if you need that extra horsepower in the moment, increase it to 100% throttle, which is 18 or 21 pounds of boost, depending on if you have 150 octane fuel. And this is only for short durations because you only have five minutes of engine life when you max it out. The Griffin engine also has a much larger displacement than the Merlin and therefore consumes fuel much more rapidly. I prefer to take a full fuel tank, which is around 500 liters, just because you use up so much of it in a short period of time. The torque of the Griffin engine is also massive. And so when you're climbing out from the airfield, you want to apply full negative 100% rudder trim. Uh, and then once you level out and reach 215 miles per hour, you want to reduce that trim to 0% or minus 20%. The Spitfire Mark 14 also has the best turn and burn characteristics of any aircraft in this game. The airframe allows for some of the best turn rates of any late war fighter, and the Griffin engine with its 2000 maximum horsepower accelerates the aircraft from its best turn speed of 180 miles per hour extremely quickly. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video.